Hey guys, so today I am going on a grocery haul to Jewel Osco and we are currently still in the pandemic, so we're living in quarantine. And so I wanted to share with you guys um, not only all the grocery items that I purchased today on this haul, but I want to share with you guys how I safely remove all the groceries um, from, you know, like the, the bags themselves and the packaging uh, in order to prevent spreading any possible germs of the virus that may have been transmitted on the grocery items and preventing that from, you know, being in my home and getting my family sick. So I want to share with you guys how I do all that. Um, so I, I have my mask, I have my gloves. And so stay tuned if you're interested in seeing how I safely, you know, transfer the items from the store into my home and show you how I do all that. So if you're interested, keep on watching. All right, here we go. I'm going to start off. I'm going to run through this as quick as I can because my kitchen is a disaster. I need to clean that and I need to get all this food put away. So grabbed one of these. We needed that, you know, spring season. Got to definitely have a new one of those. Grabbed a couple pops, some rusted potatoes for a few different meals. Um, I found this big 32 pack of the apple and eve fruitables i always try to find ways to get fruits and veggies into the kids diet and you know there's all different types of fruits and yeah it says fruit and vegetables of course we got our three cases of water that we always get um i needed laundry soap so i went ahead i bought the all i usually use all free and clear because i have sensitive skin and my kids do so I just went with the one with Oxy this time because this really isn't good at getting stains out. So I, I'm trying it for the first time with the Oxy added to it because I have used Oxy in the past and haven't gotten a reaction to that. And then this was just a backup. I usually buy the Era Free and Clear, but it has not been around since this whole pandemic started. So I went ahead and just got the regular just to have a backup laundry soap because... It seems like with the kids being home more, my daughter changes a million times a day. You know how girls are. I um, have lots of more laundry towels and everything. Okay, moving along, I bought one of these things for my recycling. I needed a big can because we are currently using this one and that is not doing it. Everything overflows around it. So I got a big one of these. Um, I actually bought this from Dollar General. Um, moving along through the food. I'm doing it straight out of the bag, you guys. I uh, got some, what are those, tortilla chips, frosted mini wheats. Um, this was on sale, 69 cents. I never tried it before, but it's like a mac and cheese. It's by Ital Pasta, so I'm gonna try it. And then of course, I had to get Chibani's. We love our Chibani's, and this is so good, you guys. This flavor is vanilla Greek yogurt um, mixed berry and oh, it is so good it just reminds me of like strawberry fields but there's just I don't know the vanilla in it is just bomb and then raspberry of course and then I went ahead and got banana and strawberry because Jack likes that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna remove everything out of its bag and I'm gonna put the bag in one spot got some spring mix head of lettuce. I ended up getting a bunch of these. So I went ahead and I got the veggie rotinis. I told you guys we love those. Sneaking those veggies into the kids. Also chickpea rotini. Uh, first time trying it. I'll let you guys know. I heard it's really good. So I actually bought that for Jack. This is a little pricey. It was like $3.84 I think for this small box. But this is basically for Jack. Um, and then I found these super greens by Ronzoni. It's a thin spaghetti, but it has like, it's green. The pasta is green. So I want to try that out for myself. And then veggie rotini, more of that. Found these nutri -Grain kids for Jack. Okay, more pasta fettuccine because I bought shrimp, which the shrimp is in the freezer ready. I will show you guys that. I got a big bag of it. I got these for Jack. He loves veggie sticks. Moving along, got some more cold stuff, um, cottage cheese, more of that pasta, the mac and cheese. I ended up getting sliced peaches, pear halves, okay, so here we go, pear halves, sliced peaches. 
Prego pasta, a mushroom, Nesquik, and then I bought these organics, popping corn. I bought the kernels because we're going to make popcorn because our microwave is not working right, so it will not cook the microwave popcorn. Got some Bush's baked beans as a side when we have like burgers or hot dogs. And finally, I found this. It's the oat milk. I wanted to try that. Um, so I'll let you guys know how that turns out. And then I got the organic salsa to go with those um, tortilla chips. Of course, I got Gogurt. This is the frozen. And um, this is strawberry ice castle and vanilla flurries. So those are two flavors that I know my kids will like. Sometimes they have some weird flavors like, I don't know, watermelon and stuff. And then I got two of these Prego creamy vodka sauces because I'm going to make it. It's more of like a creamy red sauce. I'm going to do that with fettuccine and shrimp. I want to try that. And then another shrimp dinner is going to be with the olive oil and garlic with the, you know, regular pasta. So there's two of those. More tomato um, sauce. Orange juice. We always get the original no pulp. I got, uh, this was the only paper towels I could find. It was the, of the Bounty, and that was at Dollar General. This is the bread that I get for my kids, the Sara Lee White with Whole Grain. I ended up getting two of those because I could freeze one, but we've been going through a lot of bread with the kids being home now, doing homeschool. Okay, some more produce. I got fresh green beans to cook as a side. Baby carrots, which, you know, the kids love snacking with that, with ranch. Okay, bananas. And I got two of these Gala apples because the kids love snacking on apples. We do apples and peanut butter. I love it myself, so I just grabbed two bags. Um, I got a seedless watermelon. These were only like $3.49, so grabbed one of those. More sauce, more baked beans. What is in here? Look at this. This really gets me like when they bag one can in a bag. I mean, come on, crazy. Oh, I got some pitted olives to go with my pasta salad this time. I missed, I didn't have their ingredient for the recipe when I made it last, if you were following along on Instagram. So I made sure to pick up a couple cans of those. And then I bought some Crisco uh, vegetable oil. This one says it has all omega fatty acids. Now I only always cook with olive oil, but for the popcorn, um, I bought that. And then I found these because I love Arizona green tea, but you can either buy like the big um, container of it or the cans and it gets a little pricey. So this was only, I think, $2.39. And these are the packets to put in your water bottles. So I'm going to check it out. I'll let you guys know how, how it works. Anyways, moving along. Got some eggs. Okay, so you guys all know what eggs look like, right? Okay, so I got an 18 uh, pack of that. Oh, that's Dollar General. Let's stick with Jewel, and then I'll do Dollar General. Oh, toilet paper. Found toilet paper. They had their brand, you know, Jewel Value Corner brand, and it was limit one. So we were definitely in need of this. We're on our last roll in the one bathroom, and we're out in the other. So how many rolls are here? Let's see, two, four, six, and 12. I guess 12 rolls. These work actually pretty good. They're pretty good quality. I usually buy my toilet paper from Dollar General, but they are empty on the shelf. So more Jewel. Oh, mushrooms. Okay, I'm gonna put that over there. And then I got the Annie's Bunny Grams birthday cake for Jack. Again, I'm trying to, you know, find those normal little snacks that kids like to eat. He is not a big snacker on those types of things. Like, he's very picky. I have to do hummus, um, which is a great thing. I know, I'm not complaining, but it's like everything I need to uh, prepare for Jack. So, once in a while, you know, when I'm having like a uh, busy day I want to have these type of snacks to grab and just give to him so I don't have to be in the kitchen making anything um, I got another thing of pasta the vermicelli which is like an angel hair but a little bigger I believe and then this was at the front door guys as soon as I walked in so I was like you know what 
we need some donuts to cheer us up in this pandemic. So nothing like a good frosted donut with your cup of coffee in the morning. And it was only, look, $2.50. Do you guys see that? My camera don't want to focus. But yeah, so I got that. I'll put that up there. Getting rid of these bags as we move along. You want to get rid of your bags. Um, oh, I got more taco seasoning for another chili recipe or possibly tacos. So I'm just throwing my bags over there. Uh, and, sorry, I'm like huffing above it. I'm so out of breath. You know, it takes a lot of energy driving to the store, grocery shopping in a mask, and then hauling everything back and then taking it out, carrying all the bags inside your house from the car. So I am tired, guys. Um, let's see, Cafe Mocha, my favorite Starbucks creamer. They had that, I had to get that. And then I, this was on sale for $5. So I grabbed this um, just for some antioxidants for us. We can all like do little shots of that with our breakfast. Um, and then of course I got hot dog buns because oh yeah, I did buy hot dogs. I bought Oscar Mayer the beef. I put those in the drawer already. Homestyle Ranch by Lighthouse brand. They say that's like the most healthiest brand you can get. More pasta sauce. I usually make homemade, but in a pinch now, having the kids home, I like to throw these in. I will always saute olive oil with garlic first before I throw these in. It just gives it more of that home-cooked flavor. And then I bought some hamburger buns, which got a little smashed. I'm just happy we have hamburger buns. So, um, let's see. Moving along. What else here? What is in here? Oh, more of those pitted olives. Oh, you guys, I smelled this on the shelf. I wanted to try it. Downy Infusions Bliss. Um, I usually get the Calm, which is a lavender, but this is Amber and Rose. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so I have lots of laundry to do, obviously. You've seen I bought lots of stuff. So I have two bags of this, the Iceberg Garden um, salad bags. I bought some yellow onions. Okay, I'm gonna move along quickly here. Jack's over there eating. <laughs> okay. This house is crazy messy. All right. I bought salt and vinegar chips. Original chips by this Utz brand. These were $1.99. So they were the less expensive chips because they're really jacking up those Doritos. It's crazy. And like all the other chips. But this is a newer brand. So I got the rippled regular salt and vinegar. And now uh, we're going to move on to the Dollar General. So Dollar General, I picked up these Ziploc um, bags, storage bags for the freezer. And then I got some Tom's Children toothpaste for Jack. I bought another one of these for my daughter. Her birthday's coming up and she has one. She uses it for her LOL dolls. You guys, this is awesome. It organizes all those little pieces. So her birthday's coming up on May 6th. She'll be seven. That's part of her gift. Um, I needed some lint rollers. And I picked these up because I am also going to be doing a video on reorganizing and decluttering my closet. So I thought these were so pretty. I love these neutral colors. I needed a couple more boxes to go in my cubicle. So I picked those up. And then... Um, I got myself this. It's the Activated Charcoal by Tom. So I'm going to try that for teeth whitening. Kind of nervous, but a friend of mine on Instagram did it. So, And she has a funny uh, video actually over there. You guys need to check her out. Shauna the mom. I'll leave it in the description below. But let me get some of this stuff out. Actually. So for her birthday. I'm grabbing all this stuff. Okay. So this is for her for her birthday. These are bath bombs and by Suave. It says no parabens, so I thought that was good. Um, you know, I always try to get a little natural, but this is like cotton candy and, I don't know, sugar, cookie, and all that kind of girly stuff. I also got her her own shampoo and conditioner because she always like uses my whole bottle in one bath. So I'm going to give her a caddy of like all her own little personal stuff. And this stuff smells so good, you guys. It is by herbal essence which i used to use these all the time um and these are no parabens and none of that so this is a hair and a body wash and a conditioner 
So I'm excited about that for her. Oh, I was able to find just the Dollar General brand. So I got two of these because I don't want to be like hoarding paper towels. And I wanted to leave some on the shelf for other people. So there was only like three left after I took the two. So, um, yeah. And then for a nice bath, I got the Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. Hold on, baby. I'll be over there in one minute. And then, let's see here. Okay, I just ended up taking, I had to get Jack some water, and then I ended up taking all this stuff out of the bag. So we were in need of products, and I usually do like all natural products. So I was at Dollar General, I tried to go as natural as I could. Uh, when it comes to my husband, that doesn't matter to him. I still try to force it on him, but he he's like old-fashioned. He sticks to his, you know, old-school products. So he likes this daily clarifier because he wears a really thick um, gel. And it's like glue. It's that got-to-be glue he uses. So this is good for him for, you know, maintenance. And then um, I got him this, the two-in-one uh, body wash, sandalwood. It smells so good. This is supposed to be shampoo um, and conditioner. But just for him to smell a little good, you know, I love it. It's that nice rustic scent. Uh, for a body wash, I got him the Old Spice Hydro Wash. And he will share this with my son, Avery, now that Avery's getting older. This is the Live Wire. It smells so good, you guys. Now, moving along, I needed some kind of, like, hairspray. Now, I don't use hairspray, but this is, like, a flexible hairspray. So I would just spray this into my brush and then run it through my hair when I'm trying to like pull out my curls or I may spray it into my hand and just use my hand to do that. But I never like spray hairspray, like how people just hair spray hairspray. I can't do that. It affects my asthma too much. I also got the three pack of Colgate. This is the kind I like. It doesn't have any of that silica in it. If you guys look at Crest, it has silica and that's supposed to be like really bad for kids. Um, and so my older kids use our toothpaste and I don't know, this doesn't have like any of that extra junk in it. So good old Colgate does the trick. Plus, I think it's stronger. It just tastes stronger than Crest. So I went ahead and picked up the Colgate Total Mouthwash. And then I got myself the Pink Peony and Sea Salt. I love the smell of this. I wish you guys could smell it. And then another thing I wanted to try is the Herbal Essence uh, Volumizing Hairspray. So I figured like this would work good just at the root to give me a little volume when I do ever get ready for anything and then last but not least i did get my daughter another body wash and it has zero parabens um or dyes and this smells like watermelon so she loves all that girly fruity stuff and then i got a big thing of these dixie paper plates because i am a paper plate mom yes um anyway you can you know save your sanity as a mom <laughs> do it but basically guys this is my huge haul, and I have frozen meat in the freezer, the deep freezer in the garage that I didn't show you. I ended up getting a couple packs of pork chops. It was buy one, get one free, and then I got some breakfast sausages, which... So... These are the breakfast sausage that I got, and I got the patties. And then I also got the kids, these were buy one, get one free, the Purdue uh, chicken nuggets. We got two of those, and then I got the, I ended up getting the cutlets for them, the breaded cutlets. So that's pretty much it. And then, oh yeah, I did get um, chicken breast too. And then I also, oh, I forgot, I ended up getting these pizzas. It's, I don't even know this brand, but it's a Chicago pizza and it's a deep dish. So I need to get these into, look at that. It's like a deep dish pizza. Never tried it before. I'm going to get these into the freezer now, I think. So the first thing I do is carry all my bags in and I place them on the floor. I never put them on the countertop or tables. You want to keep them on your floor. Uh, so this way, you know, if anything is infected on the bags, it will at least be on the floor. You can clean the floor after you clean all the groceries up. Right now, I am collecting all of the plastic bags and I'm gonna shove them all into one bag, tie it up, bring it right out to the recycling bin, come back in, wash my hands, and start the disinfecting of all the grocery items. I always begin disinfecting the cold items because obviously I need to get them placed in the refrigerator as soon as possible. 
So what I do is just take a Clorox, Lysol, any disinfectant wipe that you have on hand and just wipe down the entire surface area of all the plastic items that you will be placing in your fridge. Um, I usually use one side of one wipe for one item and then use the other side of the one wipe for another item. So I get like one wipe per two items. Now, if you're running low on the disinfectant wipes, because I know these are hard to come by in the store, I'm actually running low myself, you can make a solution of one cap of bleach and the rest water in a water bottle, shake it up, spray it on a paper towel or any type of rag and do the same thing. So here you can see I have a bucket of eggs. That's because I removed all the eggs out of the original carton because the main point here is you do not want to have any of the original packaging placed inside your refrigerator, your cabinets, or your pantry because the outer packaging is more prone to contamination. And so you want to discard any of that outer packaging right away in order to prevent any possible contamination of the virus from the outer packaging onto any surfaces within your home. Now, according to the CDC, it is said that the virus can live on plastics, cardboard, any surface for up to three days. So here I removed the mushrooms from the packaging. I'm just placing them in a glass container. And then the green beans I put in a strainer because I will be rinsing those off later. And then I will store them in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator. Same with the lettuce. I will remove the outer packaging and then place it in the strainer so that I can later rinse that off before I put it in a container in the refrigerator. For the most part, I wash all the produce under the sink but in some cases, like these bags of lettuce, I will just wipe the bag down and uh, the carrots as well. Now with the Chobanis, again, I am removing the outer packaging and then I will go ahead and wipe down the cups with a disinfectant wipe. As you can see here, I am being very careful to use only my right hand to remove the cups because that is my clean hand from the scissors and using my left hand to remove the cardboard. This is just an extra precaution that I take to make sure I do not cross contaminate. Also, I'm sure to remove the packaging from paper plates. I will then discard the packaging, go wash my hands before I again touch the paper plates to put them in the cabinet. Basically, there's lots of hand washing that takes place in between different food items. So anytime I touch in outside packaging, I will always be sure to wash my hands before I actually touch the item itself to put it away. So I just finished washing any of the non-perishable food items I had, such as like cans, jars, plastic bottles, anything that can withstand running water and soap. Definitely take advantage of that because that will cut back on your usage of your disinfectant wipes. And we all know we are either running low at this point or completely out of stock and we are unable to restock these items because they are nowhere to be found. If you guys know any place I can find some disinfectant wipes, please leave a comment below because I have looked and searched everywhere, every store, every online option, and there is nothing. So if you know, let me know. And lastly, once you have all your food items disinfected and put away and all the garbage is thrown away, you want to make sure to disinfect all your hard surfaces such as the handle to the refrigerator, any type of knobs, any type of countertops, and even run a disinfectant with a Swifter jet over your floor because remember, that's the first place those bags and those items were set down. So that is how I do it. I hope this helped you guys out. Please remember to be safe. Take all the precautions you can possible to protect you and your family. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. You are all mighty mamas. You are all doing a fabulous job. So give yourself that pat on the back and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.